There we go. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Carlisle Fly and Foul, uh, Fly Time Tuesdays. Uh, today we're going to be tying a jig style pheasant tail nymph. Uh, this is a super staple pattern. Um, every every fly fisherman should have this in their box. It's a super effective fly. Um, and this is a little bit of a variation. The original um, pheasant tail uh, was actually un not ha without a bead on just a regular nymph style hook. Um, but we're going to tie a beaded version on this jig uh, hook. Um, so we're going to dive on this today and get started. So starting off with a Hunok 450BL. Um, and we're doing this in a size 14, but you can do it, you know, size 12 all the way to um, 20 or so if you want to. Um, and we're just going to be using some brown thread. Go ahead and get your thread started behind the bead. Trim your tag off, and we're going to bring our thread rearward right to the start of the bend of the hook there. First material we're going to tie in is uh, pheasant tail fibers. Uh, this is natural, and so I'm going to pull off um, six to eight or so uh, fibers from the stem. Keep those tips aligned, and we're going to tie in our tail. We're going to measure uh, just about a hook shank, hook shank and length here, and transfer that measurement rearward. Give your bobbin a counterclockwise spin and tie that in there. And advance your thread forward. You can just wrap over this pheasant tail, um, kind of give us a little bit of a body here. Cut that excess off close. Okay, next material we're going to tie in is our uh, copper wire for our ribbing. We're just going to shove that into the slot of the bead here. Tie that in and bring your thread rearward. Okay, now we're going to tie in our body um, and just some more pheasant tail. Uh, fibers here. I'm going to do about maybe 8 to 10 fibers. What you want to do is kind of align those tips and then we're going to cut just the tip of it off because it's very brittle and we're going to be tying it in from the tip of the uh, fibers here. thread forward and I'm gonna go opposite of the way that my thread wraps are going um, and you'll see why here in just a minute here and we're gonna stop just about a bead length behind the out of the hook here and tie that in. Cut that off close. And now we are going to come in with our gold wire. And the reason why it's so uh, beneficial to go uh, to, to wrap your pheasant tail opposite of the way that your thread wraps are going is because when you get to the end and you need to tie in this gold wire, it's much easier to tie it in in the same direction as your thread wraps. So bring it up to about the same point. A couple wraps behind, a couple wraps up front. Then we're going to helicopter this wire off close. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to tie in um, our 
legs or our wings and our wing case. So we're going to do about six uh, fibers of the uh, pheasant tail and we are going to align the tips forward over the bead about a bead length in front of the eye of the hook or so and tie that in right behind the bead like so and bring thread forward and now we're going to tie in pretty much our thorax and we're using a uh, peacock curl this stuff is super brittle um, so you gotta be very careful with it but i would use um, maybe three or four strands of that and then we're going to just tie that in here bring that thread forward and I like to do a little bit of a twist with the peacock curl it kind of helps it um, a little bit more more sturdy and we're just gonna wrap this right here up to behind the bead and tie that in Trim that off close. And now we are going to bring our wing case forward. Um, and before we do that, we're going to kind of split these tips evenly across the top of this bead here. Let me give it a little bit of a split that with the remainder of the pheasant tail here for the wing case and pinch it and tie that wing case in cut the exhaust off close now we're going to come in with our whip finish tool. Do a four or five turn whip finish. Trim that off close. And there you have it. That is the pheasant tail nymph on a jig hook. Um, and I'm going to come in here with some Sally Hansen hard as nails real quick, just for some head cement, kind of help uh, with some of the durability of this fly. You don't need a whole, whole lot. But we're just gonna put just a little bit right here on the wing case and on those thread wraps. It's gonna kind of give us a little bit more durabil durability here. All right, and there you have it. That is the pheasant tail nymph on a jig hook. Uh, super, uh, super effective fly, super easy tie, very few materials. Um, and just an overall great pattern. Um, and it fishes really good on this jig style nymph. Um, this tungsten bead really helps it get down quickly. Um, so you kind of you know, fish it in a lot faster water, get it a little bit deeper, a little bit quicker. Um, but yeah, this is the pheasant tail nymph on a jig style hook. If you guys got any other uh, flies you guys want to see me tie, uh, drop that in the comments below. I'm really enjoying doing these uh, fly tying Tuesdays. Um, it has been a couple weeks since I put one of these out. Uh, we did have uh, have our second child. Our son uh, was born about a month ago, so we've had a little bit of downtime with that, which has been awesome. Uh, but uh, just trying to get a little bit more um, time behind the vice here. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.